arbitrage trading is what that is actually trending right now okay everybody wants to know how to make money with arbitrage trading and the reason for this is based on the strategy you are implementing okay arbitrage trading seems to be easier okay and then um is a somehow safe mode of you know trading and the rest and in today's video tutorial i'm going to show you how to make at least 20k on a daily basis it could be more it could be less okay but i'm going to show you how to make at least 20k on a daily basis with binance arbitrage trading all right so if you are new to the channel you're welcome and consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on this channel all right so what we do here is just help you um in different ways of trading crypto to make sure that you stay profitable so you want to make sure you're a part of the community and if you want to learn more you want to join my zoom um, weekly zoom meetings then link to join the telegram group where i equally send that free signals for those of you who are trading features i do send that free signals to that platform so make sure you use the link in the video description to sign up for an account now this arbitrage trading system is going to be on binance all right um you can try it out with any other exchange but i'm going to demonstrate all of this with binance so if you don't have a binance account link will be in the video description to sign up for an account all right so with that being said if you do gain value from this video do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with others you could be helping a friend out there <laughs> all right okay so now the way the arbitrage trading works is we go to the, P the binance p2p platform okay we'll buy some token there then come back to the binance spot trading okay get those token traded into another token then go back to the p2p option and then sell it directly to our bank account all right so we make profit within um, between the difference okay of buying when we bought when we sold and then when we are selling it back to the bank and the rest all right so to get started all we just need to do you need a binance account just log into your binance account now another thing i show that is worth noting here for those of you who are new if your binance app is not looking like mine okay if the interface is not like what you're seeing here what you need to do is once you log into your binance account you see at the top left okay this is your profile icon at the top left just make sure that you go ahead and click on it so once you click on it what you need to do is to come in here and make sure that you toggle this off because by default this will be on the binance slide mode so make sure you toggle this off once you toggle that off then you should have an interface like mine so that you'll be able to follow up all right so once you are here to assess the binance p2p option you see where it says p2p trading at the home page here just go ahead and click on it so i'll go ahead and click on it and what we want to start with okay we are going to be buying usdt all right and then we'll trade that usdt into any of this coin either btc um bnb ethereum uh, okay or solana and then we trade it back to our bank account that way we're, we're, we're going to make profit with it okay so what i need to do is to come in here and buy usdt all right so you see all of the different offers you you get to choose from okay so um i just go ahead and click on you know buy all right so make sure um you actually stay to the end of this video because at the towards the end i'm going to share tips with you to get you know price alert with um the p2p trading option so that you'll be able to know when the price has gone up when the price is down and the rest okay so once again go ahead let's say we want to buy from this person go ahead and click on buy okay so we'll just go ahead and click on buy all right you see that the price keep changing all right previously it was all oh, you see the price keep updating and the rest we saw 700 and c's and now we are seeing 707 and stuff like that so um you can refresh and see if the price updates again and gets updated and the rest so just go ahead and buy for the purpose of this demonstration let me just show you okay so here let me say i want to buy um um i, I want to buy um usdt worth 200k okay so if i want to buy usdt worth 200k i'll just go ahead and that will give us around um 282 um usdt okay so once you go ahead you go ahead and click on buy with zero fee once you buy with zero fee i have other videos that shows you how to buy crypto an account will be generated for you okay from this um um this user so a, a, a bank account will be generated for you where you make your transfer to so go ahead and make your transfer follow the step-by-step -step guide 
all right i will leave a link to how to trade with the binance p2p in the video description if you don't know this already you go ahead but it's assumed that you already know how to buy or sell on the binance exchange okay so once you go ahead and click on buy an account will be generated for you go ahead and send the payment all right after you've gotten your usdt okay it is assumed that you already got your usdt so they this um 200,000 naira will give us around um um now if you are not in nigeria you can do this in your own currency p2p in as much as p2p is working in your um, country you can do this okay so um will give us 282 um usdt all right so once we finish buying from p2p binance p2p the next thing we want to do is to come back here to the binance exchange all right now i normally do this with most of the time i do it with bitcoin all right because of um you know how volatile bitcoin is the price can always go up or down and the rest okay so i normally do it with bitcoin so what i need either do it with bitcoin or i do it with uh, bnb i did few days ago when bnb was uh, around 260 something all right i did that before and then i just sold that and that has been made me some some funds or some profit or the rest so that is exactly what they're going to do now when you buy your usdt the next thing you want to do is to come in here to your spot trade okay just click on the middle icon there that says trade click on it okay so now that we have usdt we are not going to use the spot trading option but we are going to use the convert option this is the way we are going to trade the tokens we just buy now to avoid fees and the le and, and the rest just convert it to btc all right and then wait for a few moments and then sell the btc okay but before we do that if i go to the p2p if i come in here to the p2p option you can see that we equally have an option to either buy or sell btc as well all right so with that in mind let me go back so if i click on the convert option it brings us to this interface okay you have the option to set limit orders and the rest but i'm just going to do with you know the market order okay so first you select the token you want to convert from in this case the usdt we bought is what we're going to convert all right to um btc all right so i'll just select click here and change that to usdt if you don't see usdt you just type at the search bar usdt okay and then select your usdt all right so once you select your usdt what is the coin you're going to change it to we just select btc so i normally do with btc and or bnb all right so choose any of this one you want to go with okay so i'll go ahead and put in the 281 i guess that is what we got on the binance p2p yeah 281 or thereabout okay so once you put in the price here okay in most cases you just go ahead and click on you know max now because you bought those token from um, p2p okay it will not be in your spot wallet it's not going to be in your spot wallet okay so make sure you click on this um icon here that says transfer so click on the transfer icon so if i click on it it gives you the option to transfer so we are transferring um in this case from funding wallet okay to your spot wallet so you just select and then it to transfer the funds from your funding okay um if you have the funds in your funding you just click on it once you click on it you to select the funding wallet so you can exchange from the funding wallet or you do it from the spot wallet wherever you have your funds okay so let me go back to the spot so you just um select was wherever you have your funds go ahead and convert that all right so if you have it on the funding wallet it's even better because you just go back to p2p and trade there's no need of transferring from one wallet to another all right so once you put in the amount you want to convert here so let's say 200 and is it 81 86 let me get that again um let me go to p2p how much do you get for 200k usdt all right buy usdt so 200k okay give us 282 all right 282 approximately 283 so if i come back again to the p2p trading we go to the convert option let it load up so once again select the token you want to convert from in this case usdt okay to btc so we we'll select btc and that is it so we we'll have 282 282.75 all right 
so after that just go ahead and click on this yellow button down here that says preview conversion so go ahead and click on that so it means that the 282 will give us around 0 0.1469 btc okay this is what we are going to get and the beautiful thing is that you are doing this conversion with no fee okay if you go to the spot market to trade it to 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 btc you are going to pay fee okay and then that would have reduced the quantity of btc you would have gotten so the convert option you are doing it with zero fee all right that is one beautiful thing why we have to use this okay so um this is what we're going to get 0 0.014689 0 0.0 so take note of this, this is what we're going to get okay 0 0.014689 okay that is what we're going to get that is um the quantity of btc we're going to get so once we get this btc okay once we get this quantity of btc the next thing to do is check the price at which you are converting this right now okay check the price at which you are converting this right now and remember it costs us two hundred thousand naira to buy this okay so once you have this btc we just have to go back to the spot wallet um to the p2p wallet okay so 0 0.014 689 0.014689 that is what we have so um i'll go back to p2p so if i come back to the p2p option the next thing we want to do is to go ahead and click on btc all right and then when we click on btc we'll click on sell so click on btc and then go to the sell tab okay so currently you can be selling btc at 13.9 million all right so if i go ahead and click on sell to this person this first person and then i add the quantity of btc which is 0 0.014689 okay 4689 that is what we got right so if i sell this at this point in time if i sell it right now let's say this is what i got if i sell it right now i am making 2000 plus in this transaction alone all right I am making 2000 plus in this transaction alone so first we bought btc uh, we bought usdt from the p2p went to the spot to convert it to btc and then came back to you know um the the p2 the p2p option and then we are converting it so if i sell this right now I'm making 2000 plus but in most cases i just have to wait okay um, I just have to wait and then I wait for a moment. It can get to 10,000. Okay. At times it gets to, you know, 15,000. It all depends on the amount of money you are trading with. Okay. But for 200,000, this would have given me 2,000. And I can rinse and repeat this process again and again. I don't need to stress myself. So once this person pays this money into my account, then I can come back again and repeat the process. Okay. There is no limit to the um, number of times you can trade on the Binance P2P. Or the number of times you can do um, convert from one currency to another all right so this is what i would have gotten in this transaction alone okay so once that you finish that you go ahead and click on sell but but before then you have to have your bank account details there they just transfer the money into your account and then you go ahead and buy again convert and do the same thing again so let's assume you're making this is 2000 okay 2100 right okay this is 200 and 2109 naira so you are making 2100 per transaction let me remove the 100 naira let's say the 100 naira was what sending 200,000 will not take up to 100 naira now but let me assume that the 100 naira was for charges so the 200 2000 naira is what you make in this transaction alone and before the day ends okay you would have made more than that you would have made like 10 different transactions 20 different transactions with this same method okay but one thing you should note is that when you come in here and the price is lower than the 200 the, your initial capital you started with you just have to exercise patient and wait a little okay once you wait a little the price keep refreshing all right the price keep refreshing when the price refreshes you come again and repeat that process all right so let me um say you do this for 10 20 30 times a day how much should you be making let's say for each transaction if you're making 2000 naira okay you can imagine if you put in one million naira in this uh, transaction and you are doing it for like two three times a day how much can you be making from that it is as cool as that you don't have anything to risk you don't have anything to fear you do it again and again and you keep getting you know some profit each time you do this all right so let me bring up my calculator let's actually calculate. so if i come up to the calculator all right so we are making two thousand naira 
per transaction okay we just 200k doing this all right so if i multiply this all right by 10 times that is 20k if you repeat this for 10 times in a day that is 20k what if you want to be you know a bit um i say greedy and then go for 15 times that is 30,000 naira every day okay maybe you are a bit aggressive and then you go for 20 times for instance that is 40,000 naira every day and believe me it, you are not going to make 2,000 naira consistently okay in most cases it will be higher okay it will be more so at the end of the day you are making this cool cash not risking anything not paying any fee to any to anybody nobody's charging you anything and then you keep making this and you're making cool cash for yourself all right so i just feel i should share this with you because for those of you who are still learning who don't know how to trade features and the rest you can be doing this okay this doesn't stop you you can be in your office at your own spare time you do this you can be in your business at your own spare time you do this and you'll be getting a lot from it all right so that is it for the video if there is anything that is confusing you don't understand anything use the chat section below okay use the chat section below um use the comment um section below and i'll always attend to your comment or you can join the telegram to you know ask your questions there and you'll get answers that is it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next video go and make this money okay when you make the money come back to the comment and let me know that you actually made some profit all right so i'll see you in the next video